Well, one Central Illinois native made it his goal to follow his dreams, even if it took him across the world. Jake Pinnock is a Kiwani native and now a martial arts master in China. He joins us now to talk about his journey. Thanks so much for joining us, Jake. Hi, nice to be here. Great. Well, what inspired you to be a martial arts master? Well, I'm still a student, so not quite a master yet. It's a whole lifelong practice, but the inspiration really started to uh, finding a way to be healthy. It really started with just a really basic idea of I wanted to have a little bit of adventure, but I also wanted to find a way to take care of my body and be healthy. Tell us a little bit more and about that process. Where did you train and how long for? Right. Um, so when I first came here, I was only I just turned 20 and I traveled to China and the city is actually called Wudangshan. Uh, it's at the it's at the bottom of the Wudang Mountains. Uh, there was also temples on the mountain and we train next to Yushu Temple at the academy. The academy is called Wudang Taoist Traditional Kung Fu Academy. Uh, the master is Master Yan Xu Gang. Um, and I found the school online through Facebook, through YouTube and uh, started contacting the school. And yeah, we train full time here. Uh, starting early in the morning all the way until late at night, uh, full days every day, year round. So the training can be pretty intense, but it's what I signed up for. And I was part of a program, uh, a five year program to kind of follow the traditional path of training. So we have like a team, we have a group of foreigners actually together that trained here for five years. And did you do anything maybe in central Illinois that kind of prepared you to take a journey like this? I wish I would have. Uh, no, unfortunately, I didn't have a lot of chances when I was younger, and I, it wasn't something I was really interested in when I was growing up. It was kind of one of those sudden uh, inspirations that happened to me as I was finishing high school and going into Black Hawk College, actually. Uh, uh, it was something that hit me on a whim, and it was one of those things that just kind of stuck in the back of my head, and, and eventually I started to obsess over it and just thought about, instead of thinking about, what if I do this? What if I just do it now? What if I try? Um, but no preparation beforehand. I didn't, I had sports, I played basketball, but no martial arts history before I came here, actually. Wow, quite the gift there. Now, in terms of the future and down the line, is this something you'd like to bring back to the States, back here to Illinois? Right, that's, that's my dream. Uh, my hope was actually to come back more recent than now, and I've, I've been staying here and uh, with the virus and with everything, I've actually just committed more of my time to practice and study. Um, so, it, but eventually my hope is to bring it back and, you know, copy and paste a little bit of Wudang, bring it back to America. Uh, cause I think there's a lot of opportunity here for growth and for self-cultivation and not everyone has the chance to do like I did and come all the way here. So I'd like to bring some of it back with me. Yes. That is so cool. And I think this is the time that everybody's been waiting for. We've been stretching over here, Jake, <laughs> getting ready. Can uh, you teach oh, really? us some moves? <laughs> Well, I can. It's going to be a little difficult because normally when we have the training, we have the Sifu standing over you with a stick. So if you guys do something wrong, you're going to have to hit yourself. But uh, okay. yeah. there you go. <laughs> OK. Um, OK, let me let me move this bag just a little bit. Yeah, gotcha. um, we're actually in the middle. Of, we're, we're in the middle of nighttime here, so we don't have as much space. But I'd like to actually show you guys uh, the first thing we do in the in the school. So it doesn't matter if you learn soft styles or hard styles, any Kung Fu styles, we start with a basic horse stance. Okay. So we call it, we call it, we call it Ma Bu, okay? It's very, very simple. We're gonna start with our feet together. And then all we're gonna do is we're going to sink down, put all the way on your right leg, and then step out super far, about six paces wide, and just sink down, okay? The goal here is to have your knees over your feet and have them open. So you don't want to have too narrow of a squat like this. You really want to open up and sink all the way down. The goal here is if you guys have something within arm reach, you need to put something on your leg and balance it. So you have a 90 wow. degree angle right here. This is okay. a good core and now we can just, here. We can, we can just conduct the interview like oh, this. Man. Ah. Oh <laughs> man. Matt's so doing can, much better than I am. I tell you what. <laughs> yeah, good. This, this wow. is everything. This is our root. We do all of our, our motion from here. So we have all of our momentum from here, from the core. But this is our roots. So we stay here and we train this all day. You know, we do punching drills. We do stances, transitions into other movements. 
but everything is low posture. So a big wow. every day is leg day. Okay, I got it. Like, I got it. Matt, just, Matt held ah. out much longer than I did, Jake. I got to <sighs> tell you, just watching you so is good, making good. me Ow. exhausted on that. Wow, but really good, really good form on that. Good, okay, good, that's a good, good. start. You do that every day, <laughs> wow. You know, like, do like, do like five minutes here. You know, you can do like 50 punches. Uh, oh, basic practice let's cut that these. down to first, like first one step. punch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. One or two, one on each side, one on each side. That's wow, awesome. Oh, incredible. What else you got for us? Uh, for movements, you want to do some movements? Yeah. Sure, yeah. All right, all right. So, so really, we can, we can keep this foundation. We, we, we have the punches, okay? But what we also do is we have, a, uh, we have hard styles and we have soft styles. So by hard styles, we have like the Kung Fu forms. We have this more like dynamic movement, but we also have soft styles. We can also use the same conditioning, but if you guys want to, you can come up just a little bit and have like a lighter one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's <laughs> we, do, we have, a, <laughs> we have, we have a internal practice called cloud hands. So we call it Yun Shou. Um, and this movement is like an internal practice. It's more meditative, it's more soft. Um, we can do it in a higher posture. You can also go low, but we'll let you guys rest. And all we're gonna do is really, we're gonna bring the hands to the side and then splitting them. And then the hands kind of open, kind of like bringing your shoulders forward. And you're going to just turn the body without moving the legs, only from oh, the waist. Okay, no legs. Here we go. Just and then the, the waist. hands fisting here. Yeah. So your horse stance is your foundation. So I can give you an example. This still doesn't move. When we talk about movement, it's all from the waist. So hips down, locked in place. Right. And we have this like really soft smooth transition and then changing the hands when you get to the side oh okay so it's really smooth it's actually like this is a basic internal practice and we do like cord coordination with the breath we do like endurance training with the legs i and feel it in like the legs this. i'll tell you what jake <laughs> good, good, good. and and we're going to use this the main idea with these styles is that we want to coordinate the waist with our arm movement so we're locking the legs in place and now we have all the momentum coming from the core so then as you get building into other techniques like that you have that reaction of turning with the body to block as opposed to just like turning with the hands there's not mm. there's less power there so it's an internal practice and the idea that we can have it as soft deep breathing deep breathing i'm sorry and like very smooth practice but we can also translate some of those basics into our external forms later and that's really nice you can do this just kind of rotating doing a few minutes with your horse stance to trick you into staying there longer. <laughs> That's how you get your other students too, I'm sure. <laughs> oh yeah. Too cool. Do you maybe have one more? I think we've got time for one more. One more? Uh, didn't have much planned because it's hard to teach a little bit, but I think we can do like a little bit of a stretch and give you a challenge. Okay. 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 Normally we do just split training all the time, but it's a little bit difficult, but what you guys can try, okay? is bring your leg up and like just relax the foot and then reach your hand down. If it's the left leg, take your left hand oh, and grab the outside of the foot. Okay? okay? And just a really easy stretch. Keep your balance, keep this leg lightly bent and you're just gonna stretch out. I used to be a cheerleader, so this one. <laughs> I did not <laughs> used to be a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> I cheer Shelby, that's about it. Reminiscent, but there that's go. good for balance. Oh my gosh. I try the right leg. Oh, yeah. And then also we can take two hands and grab, and we can do the same thing stretching out like this. Oh, yeah. There you go. With no one hurting themselves. That's the goal. Wow. Well, this, yeah, we feel yeah. so much more <laughs> really nice cultured and feel like we've actually wow. really learned something as well. So we really, really appreciate your I time, hope, Jake. So. That was so fun, Jake. <laughs> that was cool, man. We're, uh, so interesting what you're doing. We're just uh, happy to be able to talk to you about it. Yeah. Cool, cool. I'm happy to share. Thank you so much. Well, of course, we will have this interview and all of our moves over on our website, ciproud.com.